Welcome to Your Healthy Kitchen from YRMC. Welcome to Your Healthy Kitchen. I'm your host, Rita Carey Rubin. And I'm pleased to welcome a very special guest today, Dr. Pierre Tibby, Chief of Cardiothoracic Surgery at the YRMC James Family Heart Center. Dr. Tibby, thank you for joining us, welcome. Thank you, Rita, it's a pleasure to be here. Wonderful. So Dr. Tibby, the James Family Heart Center has become a really important part of our community. And I know you've been instrumental in its development over the years. Well, yeah, actually I was in Phoenix for about 18 years when they asked me to come up here to Prescott to open the heart center. And I came up here and fell in love with the place and felt that this would be a great place to start a heart center and provide something for the community that it didn't have. And we're so lucky that you're here. Well, thank you. And I was wondering if you could tell us a little of how the heart center has evolved over the eight years that it's been here and maybe also what services are offered there today. Well, uh, over the past eight years, we've done over 1,100 open heart operations. Wow. Um, and we do thoracic work as well. Uh, we offer the most up-to-date uh, technology and uh, have a great uh, time having the community uh, use that technology while staying here in Prescott. Uh, recently, actually, we've just um, started uh, or finished up a multi-million dollar project uh, and the James Family Heart Center is, uh, has been developed through the help of many but specifically significant donations from the James Family and that's why it's called the James Family Heart Center and in so doing that we've been able to develop a multi-million dollar project where we will offer a specialized room where we can offer cutting edge, edge technology such as something called TAVR, which is transcatheter aortic valve replacement, which instead of opening the chest for to replace a heart valve, we can do it through the groin, much less invasively. Now, this isn't a technology for all people, but more and more people are being uh, candidates for this type of technology. In addition, we're also offering electrophysiological services of the heart, and that's fixing the electrical system of the heart, as well as numerous other technologies. Wow, that's so exciting. Well, you know, as a dietitian, I, um, I see many of your heart patients that come through our cardiac rehab program. And most are concerned about their diet. They, sure. they really want to learn what to eat um, to prevent future cardiac events. Right. And I encourage them to eat a more plant-based diet, so one that contains all the nutrients that their bodies need to heal, but also one that's been shown to either slow or halt or even reverse the progression of heart disease. Well, that's wonderful advice for them. Yeah. Thank you. And so I thought as we talk today, we might make one of my favorite recipes together. It's for a, a heart healthy, really simple pasta dish that I've shared with many of my patients over the years. Um, what oh, do you think? I think that's oh. a great, great idea. Great. So it's, it's really simple. The, the sauce actually isn't even cooked. It's made with oh. um, for just fresh uh, ripe tomatoes. I've got some cherry tomatoes here and also has some fresh basil. Uh, parsley, chives, garlic, of course, uh, some olive oil, and a little crushed red pepper and some balsamic vinegar. So, um, yeah, so, so to get started, we just need to start chopping some tomatoes. You, okay, so you've got want a me to few chop there. Tomatoes? Sure, that would be great. Okay. You could just cut them in half or in quarters okay. if you'd like. Hopefully, the surgeon won't cut himself. Yes, that would no, be embarrassing. Right. <laughs> and we've got some pasta cooking. I like to serve this on uh, some sort of pasta that has a shape to it, like mm -hmm. uh, penne or bow ties. Um, we've got some uh, fusilli in here. Yeah. Um, and it's actually a whole grain brown rice and quinoa pasta, so it's actually gluten free. Oh wow! Yeah. I've never had that kind of pasta. Yeah, it's really it's one of my favorites. So, doc, Dr. Tibby, what is um, so you spoke about the the Taver program, mm -hmm. and there's also uh, a hybrid OR. And that's, that's exactly is, where the that's, that's, that's where the, the type of room that we need to have uh -huh. in order to do the transcatheter valve replacements okay. as well as the electrophysiological uh, work so you should come see it it's an amazingly big room with millions of dollars of technology so it's uh, I'm really excited about it we just finished building it and we'll be doing our first cases 
within the next few weeks. Wow, so it's open and ready to go? Yep. That is great. So Dr. Tibby, I know that you, um, you love wine and you actually brought some wine with you today. Well, yeah, because and, uh, nothing goes better with pasta than <laughs> red wine. Right, exactly. And, uh, and you also are quite knowledgeable on the health benefits of red wine. So Yeah, well, actu yeah. Actually, we'll um, yeah. actually, many years ago, I was asked to um, do an article on the heart and wine because, obviously, I have an interest in both. Mm -hmm. And it's amazing that there's so much to learn uh, about wine as well as some of the healthy aspects. In fact, uh, Louis Pasteur, who was the father of pasteurization, said that wine was the most healthful and hygienic of all beverages. So that's, uh, oh, I that's a that. pretty good uh, recommendation from somebody who uh, knew something about biochemistry and wine and so forth. In sure. fact, in wine, there's, there are ingredients, there are products in wine, uh, chemicals, uh, specifically resveratrol and another chemical called phenolic flavonoids. Mm. Both of those are uh, antioxidants and anti-aging. In fact, many of the cosmetics, the, those anti-aging creams that a lot of people spend hundreds of dollars on. Or more, yeah. Are, are the same types of chemicals that are found in wine. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Well, so. how much better is it to, to get those chemicals from drinking wine? Right. Well, yeah. But <laughs> Much more fun. <laughs> and, and usually cheaper. Um, well, you also um, know a lot about pairing wine with food. Uh, Is there yeah. anything special to know to pair a wine with uh, pasta? Well, I think uh, red wines obviously go well. The, the tomato, the rich tomato sauce and the strong flavors uh, go very well with uh, some... California, French, or Italian wines, uh, and uh, I personally uh, like uh, uh, Bordeaux uh, mm. with pastas. Some foods are more difficult to pair, such as Asian foods, uh, because of their spicy and sweet content, but with those kinds of foods, you may want to pair it with uh, a, uh, a semi-dry white wine um, and that's cold and can bring those flavors out. And but, yeah. cool it down the heat a little exactly. bit, I imagine. Exactly. Well, our sauce, if Did you I, would... Do you want me to cut more That looks great. That looks like plenty. <laughs> yeah, do you want to throw those in our, in our bowl here? It looks like our pasta is about ready. Wonderful. Well, Dr. Tibby, I'm going to grab this wine. Thank you for joining us uh, here in your healthy kitchen. I really appreciate your time, and it's been uh, really fun cooking with you and well, enjoying thank you. good food and wine. I mean, I'm not going to get to eat. Well, let's have a toast okay. instead. Well, thank so. you. It's a pleasure. <laughs> so if you'd like to learn more about the heart program at the James Family Heart Center at YRMC, give them a call or visit YRMC.org. And remember, all of our recipes are available at YRMC.org. Just click on Health Connect and follow the link to your healthy kitchen. So until next time, salud, and we'll see you soon. Thank you.